Hello there. It's going to be a bit of a colder week this week for most of us, but across the south and east, it should still stay fairly dry. A different story for the north and west, though. That's because low pressure is not too far away from here, and weather fronts will push in to similar areas through this week. Spells of showery rain, possibly thundery, heavy downpours as well. High pressure, though, is still quite close to the south, and that will spread its influence, keeping things a little bit drier here. However, it's not going to be entirely dry, and as I said, it is going to turn a little bit colder, particularly through Tuesday and into Wednesday when we see this dive of cold air from the north spread across the country. It won't move particularly quickly south and eastwards and it will arrive into the north and west first of all through Tuesday. That's behind this band of rain that's spread and spreading south and eastwards through the day on Tuesday. So it will turn a bit brighter across northern areas, parts of northern Scotland and Northern Ireland through the day, but you'll see colder weather it will turn much fresher with a risk of blustery heavy showers. Now, as this band of rain pushes into central areas of England, parts of northern England, parts of Wales as well, we could see some heavy downpours on that as well through Tuesday afternoon. In the south and east, it will be a brighter start, but the cloud and rain will likely arrive by the end of the day. But because there is a bit more in the way of drier and brighter weather, we're still in that milder air across the south and east on Tuesday. It's still going to be a fairly mild day, highs of around 22 degrees here, but quite a difference up to the north and west temperatures struggling into the mid-teens across the northwest and I think with the breeze it's certainly going to feel very different. Now that cold air continues to dive south and eastwards through the night on Tuesday night into Wednesday and this occluded front brings a focus of some quite heavy showers through Wednesday morning and those showers could fall as snow over the high ground of Scotland which is not that typical for early summer but isn't completely unusual. Snow is only really expected over above 600 meters meters in Scotland. Elsewhere, it should be a fairly bright day across much of Wales and southern and central England with plenty of bright sunshine, but it is going to be a fresher day on Wednesday compared to Tuesday. And across parts of Northern Ireland, Northern England, elsewhere in Scotland, plenty of cloud around and some fairly frequent, possibly heavy and thundery showers. It's a similar day through into Thursday as well. Through Wednesday night, low pressure is still centred up to the north of the UK and we'll see another few features moving in across northwestern areas, bringing the focus for those heavier showers. All the while, though, across the south and east, we should stay clear of those showers. But it is going to be a little bit colder through the mornings because we have got that colder air and fairly clear nights as well, particularly across the south. Temperatures by night down into the lower single figures. By day, as I said, struggling up into the double digits. Frequent heavy showers across the north and west, though, but it is, the, I think, the feel that you will notice the most. This is the temperatures we're expected on Thursday compared to average for the time of year. And when you see those darker blue colours, that's somewhere between six and nine degrees below the average for June across the UK. So it's definitely going to be feeling quite cold, I think, through Wednesday and Thursday in particular. As we head towards Friday, it does look to turn a little bit warmer and, however, we pick up a bit more of a westerly direction. That will allow these weather fronts to move in from the west, covering parts of Wales and other elsewhere across the UK, across the west. So some showery outbreaks of rain will likely push eastwards through the day quite widely across the UK, but still the south and east won't see too many in the way of showers. And as I said, it is turning a little bit milder by the end of the week, so temperatures climbing towards the higher teens across the south, 18 or 19 degrees still a little bit below par for the time of year and I think still up across parts of Scotland it's going to be another pretty fresh and unsettled day with a further risk of some heavy downpours. Looking ahead to the end of the week and into the weekend, well, the milder air does look like it will make further progress across the UK and high pressure still pushing in from the south and west. So potentially some dry weather pushing in from the southwest to end the week, but still likely staying fairly unsettled towards the north. Make sure you keep up to date with all your daily forecasts and you can do that by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Bye bye.